from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I love it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that aims. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are, together again on the radio. And uh, we are smack dab in the middle of the vacation season. I have uh, taken vacation this summer. I have had an absolute blast. And, uh, in fact, I would say that uh, this year I'm taking more vacation all at one time than I've ever taken before. In other words, uh, not consecutive weeks, but like in a very short period of time, a lot of time off. I decided to take the vast majority of my vacation between July and September. That's it. I'm just taking it. Getting out there, getting around, seeing what's out there. Totally loving it. Totally loving it. I mean, the benefit to you, the listener, is that when I'm done with all that vacation, that I'm going to have to come in here and show up every day for a very long time. <laughs> and I will. But in the summertime, I'm just taking some vacation. I'm enjoying it. I'm here today. I mean, I'm standing here right now talking to you, so clearly I'm not on vacation today. But just understand that I, uh, I just had a bunch of inspired ideas for places to go and things to do, and that's what I've been doing. And it uh, got me to thinking, you know, we've talked on this show many times about um, how guys have this mistaken impression of women that they don't cheat, that they are loyal, faithful, monogamous. And um, I love the, the favorite of mine is the one where... Uh, women say, oh, you don't have to worry about me, honey, because I'm just going away with the girls. It's just me and the girls. And you know, we're not taking any guys as long as just me and the girls. And a number of you young whippersnappers out there, a number of you uh, actually believe this explanation. And I feel sorry for you. Because I am willing to bet that uh, if your girl is going out with the girls to some place like Mazatlan or Cancun or Puerto Vallarta or you name the places, right? How about South Beach, Miami Beach? Places like that. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that they're out if they're not dancing on top of the bar getting hammered. They have fallen into the arms of other guys because there's a chick code, you know, just like guys. What goes on the road stays on the road. If it didn't happen in this zip code, it didn't happen. Once you leave the country, it doesn't count. I've heard all of these phrases, all of them. And fortunately, you, you love sick puppy dogs out there. You believe the girls when they say they're just going out with the girls. So uh, every once in a while, it's my job to burst your bubble. And that's what I'm going to do in this hour of the program, because we are smack dab in the middle of the vacation season. And uh, I know that for any number of reasons, many times uh, you're in a relationship when you're 19 or 20, and uh, your girl is going on one vacation, you're going on another. Maybe you couldn't get the week off from, uh, you know, working at Jack of the Box or Carl's Jr. or... Maybe, uh, right, because you're working there for the summer, or maybe you're uh, stacking boxes or something. You can't get the time off. She's got it. Maybe she had to work when you had vacation. But the point is, 
Many people take separate vacations, sometimes because of family concerns or whatever. And uh, I'm telling you, if your girl went away with the girls, stuff happens. Now, granted, it may not be every girl in the group. They're, they're frequently going to be that one stick in the mud who's there going, I just don't feel right about this. I don't like what you girls are doing. You've got boyfriends. And a, but there, there might be one person like that in the group, okay? Granted, it's not everybody. But it's much more widespread than you think. So here's what I want to find out. I want to talk to the girls this hour. Those of you who have taken a separate vacation this summer. If you went away with the the other girls, you went away with your girlfriends, your best friend. Now, you didn't go to like a cabin in Montana. You didn't go to a literary convention. You didn't go to the Chinese checkers convention. You went to some place with a big beach and a lot of bars and maybe some casinos and maybe places where the uh, bars don't have a closing time or there's no age of consent or whatever. I know that you girls are out there and many of you are up to no good. And it's time we uh, we burst the bubble of those little puppy dogs out there who think you're all just going away with your friend. And, and by the way, <laughs> does that, you know, a, a, with benefit of hindsight, I see how ridiculously dishonest that can be but i can also see how somebody who's 19 20 years old can believe his girlfriend's logic when she says honey you don't have to worry it's just me and jennifer we're just going down the two of us we're just the two of us there's no guys going it is me and my friend can't i have a friend what's wrong when a girl has friends and we're just gonna go down there you know and sit out on the beach and it's gonna be girl talking and you wouldn't even want to be there and if you could be there you wouldn't want to be there and I know many of you boys are sitting there going, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> this hour, I aim to prove that it doesn't make as much sense as, as you think it does. That there's other matters afoot. And if they were with her foot, you wouldn't be as concerned as the, the body parts that are involved. So, ladies, uh, if you've taken a vacation separate from your boyfriend or your husband this summer, and you've got something to report... And by the way, it can be that you just were out there reading a book on the beach and you were completely innocent. Okay, I'll listen to that, too. Because as I always say, even a broken clock is right twice a day, and I'm sure there's a few exceptions to the rule out there. Who, uh, you know, brought some big pulpy novel to the beach and sat out there reading in the sun. I'm sure there's some of you out there, just not many. I'm willing to bet that some of you met the Cabana Boy or you went to Club Med with your friend and you uh, you were there with the scuba instructor and he was going uh, snorkeling where he didn't shouldn't have been going snorkeling. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? So, ladies, if you have taken a separate vacation from your lovesick boyfriend or husband this summer, I want to hear all the dirty details. Tom Likas. Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, can I say one thing? What would that be? I'm kind of buzzed, but I'm loving you. Really? Oh, my God. The Tom Likas Show. 97.1 free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. Tom like his show. At 1 800 5 800 Tom, that's our telephone number. All right, did the girls go on vacation this summer? I'm going to talk to the girls themselves. We'll find out. And uh, we'll see uh, exactly what does go on when the girls go on their own on vacation without you, guys. Marie on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi, I'm calling from Upland, and I wanted to tell you about the time where um, a group of girls and I um, were from, like, a therapy group class, and this um, married woman um, and her husband, they let us use their timeshare in Vegas for free for the weekend, and we all went out, um, some married, some single. Um, I have a boyfriend, and we went out, and we were gambling at the blackjack table, um, the married girl, she was flirting, talking to these boys out from out west. And 
we did have one stick in the mud who was watching out for everyone, and she was, like, pulling her away. Okay, we got to go, Lisa. We got to go. And Lisa grabs my phone. This is the married and says, oh, why don't you get Marie's number? That way you can meet up with Marie later. And so I get the boys' number. We meet up at a karaoke bar. Lisa's laughing. She's flirting. She's hanging all over these guys, getting drunk, drinking more drinks, having shots. And um, so... By the way, was she, calling, was she calling home to tell her husband how much she loved him during this time? Um, she did. She did a couple of times um, in between when we were getting ready. And, um, you know, I didn't know. I honestly didn't know she was going to actually go through with it. And she just kept drinking and she started dancing with them and... I danced with um, a couple of the guys, you know, we're just friendly, little flirting and stuff. And but you're, um, do you, you have a boyfriend or you're single? I have a boyfriend. Okay. And so, you know, then pretty much, so we went back to our hotel. They were staying in the same hotel as us. And we were just talking, drinking. It was late. And she decided to go um, play some more, you know, blackjack with this guy. And... She had kind of hinted to me while she was drunk, like, don't let me do anything stupid. Don't let me do anything stupid, Marie. And I was like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna help you. I'm going to, you know, she didn't, she wasn't outright, like, ready to, to cheat or anything. And then before I know it, these guys, these guys were just, they were talking to me. They were like, I could have been, you know, they were really, I, I think that they, they had, like, a system going on to distract me. And, and, and before I know it, she was gone. And then the other girl comes downstairs from the hotel, stick in the mud. She's like, where's Lisa? Where's Lisa? Trying to find out. And I'm like, I don't know. I just shrugged my shoulders. I was like, she went to go gamble. And then before I know it, the guy that she was with comes down, like maybe 20, 30 minutes goes by, and he's in a change of clothes. <laughs> and I'm like, why are you in, uh, you know, shorts and a pair of sandals? And I was like, where's Lisa? And he's just like, um... Uh, I think, I don't know, I, I think she went to bed, and I'm like, mm-hmm, and he, I, he's looking at his buddies, and they're, you know, giving him the whole, like, high-five type of thing going on, and I'm like, oh, no. So the next, and so the next day, morning, you know, we're having, like, pillow talk, girl talk in the um, hotel room, and I'm asking her, and then she just, and she didn't want to admit it, and she was like, oh, no, no, nothing happened, nothing happened, and, and then she was like, but... I really, I really want to go say bye to him. I want to, I want to see him before I go. And she got all dressed up, put on her makeup. You know, she's got this big old rack, you know, her 34D, double D cup boobs. And she's like staring herself in the mirror. And she's like, we got to go. We got to go say bye to him. And I'm like, okay, if you didn't sleep with him, then you could care less about saying goodbye to him. I'm like, you want to have one last look at this guy because he gave you something last night that you want to remember, you want to see again. And... So she went and she saw him again, and I don't know what they did, you know, if they had one last little thing. But on the way home, she was just like, well, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, and that's that. And that was it. And so, and she still, I know, I know she slept with him, and she was, like, freaking out on the way home. And I, I think she kind of felt a little bit guilty, but I don't know if she ever told her husband or not. But oh, What do you I, think? So, yeah, it was, I mean, and this is something, I mean, she, she seriously just believed in that. You know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And her poor little husband, he's a nice guy. She's got two kids at home. Of course. He's so devoted to her. And he's, you know, let her go to Vegas, use their timeshare. It was, but. And you awful. all, of course, had to keep her secret. Yes. Well, I'm, I can't say anything. I mean, that's for her to say. I understand. Did you tell your boyfriend what happened? I told the boyfriend, yeah. I told him what happened. And you you just, told him what happened with her, but not with you. I told him that I danced. But so, you know, we, we were at a bar, and, you know, there was, like, a, a song, a country song that came on, and I danced a little bit. And he wasn't the happiest with it, but he goes out clubbing, too, with his guys, and I know he's not... Just, you know what? I don't know guys who go clubbing unless they're looking to get laid. I just don't know guys who like going out. Guys, unless they're Latino, a guy and, and many Latino guys who are Americanized just don't care about dancing. They, the only reason guys go to nightclubs is to get laid. You know what? I always like to the bottom of my like gut tells me that, you know, like he's not really there for dancing, but I try to give him the benefit of the doubt and. 
I mean, you mean you're in I denial? <laughs> I don't think I'm in denial. I think... Has I he think won any that... dance contests? What's that? Has he won any dance contests? No. <laughs> yeah, you see... He's not like a ballroom dancer. Well, that's my point, dear. Unless he's that kind of dancer, chances are... You just out there to pick up chicks? I just you don't think that I just don't think that he would do that. He just well, really, uh, let me speak to you really as a, as a, as a man's man, okay? I like to go out. If I want to go out with the guys, I'll go to a sports bar, a neighborhood bar, a bowling alley with a bar, a ball game. Okay, well, all right, that if, that's where I will go. If I uh, no, I'm I'm unmarried. Uh huh. If I want to meet chicks, I'll go to a nightclub. Okay, what about and this? and no. I and I uh -huh. hate hate the idea of dancing. But you go to get laid. Uh, you think I'm going because I like the dancing? <laughs> You see what I'm I know saying? His, I know his friends cheat. I know his friends cheat on their right. girlfriends. Yeah. I, he, his best friend actually got caught because he hooked up with one of my best friend's roommates. And she happened to see him again. And I confronted him. And I was like, dude, you're, you, would you tell me if your friends are cheating on their girlfriends? And he was like, yeah, babe, I'd tell you. And he fully totally lied to me. And then I was like, well, he, your best friend like cheated with my friend's, my best friend's roommate. And he was just... He's like, oh, you know, and then, like, I don't know. I just was kind of like, so if they're doing it, why aren't you doing it? And he just tries to tell me that he's different. And Why does he need to be there? Why does he need to be around when they're doing that? Because they're his friends and they invite him out. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I got friends. I've been married, as you know. And yeah, I've got friends who do go out to pick up chicks. If I'm in a committed relationship, I let the guys go on their own when they're picking up chicks. I go out with them when we're going out to a steakhouse or we're going out to go bowling or we're going out to uh, watch a Laker game or something like that. So, I mean, what if you had your girlfriend telling you, you know what, I don't want you to go out with your guy friends because I think you're... I'm not. You, you know. can't tell people what to do. I'm simply <laughs> telling you. But, but here's the deal. You just have to be aware of what's probably happening. And the phone gets cut off at a very convenient time, right at the end of a sentence. Right at the end of a thought. She just went gulp. Because, come on, if that guy is going out with his buddies to nightclubs, what Caucasian male likes going out to... Art, are you a dancer? No. no. Gary and Dean, I've worked with for years. I can tell you right now. Of course, Dean has seen both Gary and myself on a dance floor. No, you don't have to type it up there, Dean, I know. <laughs> we were both drunk and on dance floors. Yes, that did happen. But it was not because we liked dancing. It was one time, and uh, wasn't that at the uh, was that the Phoenix Underground in Seattle, Dean? I think the old Phoenix Underground. I think it was. Yes, the old Phoenix Underground before the earthquake in Seattle. We were both on the dance floor. Yes, were we on the dance floor at Belltown Billiards in Seattle? I don't think so. If we were, I think we were just edging around the edges. I don't think we we're actually in the middle of everything. But believe me, if you catch any of us on a dance floor, it's because there's a vagina in there and we're trying to reel it in. We're not out there because we like dancing. Okay, you just have to, I'm being honest about this. So ladies, if your man is going out with his friends to clubs, they go out clubbing. You know what, that's something chicks say they do. They go out clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, guys don't go out clubbing. They go to clubs to get laid, okay? We, we don't go so we can get past the bouncer and brag about what clubs we can get into. I love the women who do that, by the way. That is so high school. You can tell a girl is still young and fresh. 
and a little green when she goes, I know every bouncer in town. I can get into any club I want. I just go. I just kind of bat my eyelash and they let me right in. You know, like, like, they, like they're pulling a scam. I mean, the reality is any club worth its salt is sweeping hot young things, hot, innocent young things in that door. So predators like myself will pay the cover charge to come in and get what I claim in to get. And these girls think it's a, it's like they shoplifted at Saks Fifth Avenue. It's like they're a bunch of Winona writers. Well, I just go right up to the, the bouncer, and he just he waves me right in like other hot chicks are getting waved in. Yeah, that's how you can tell the green ones, you know, the ones who think they're getting away with something by getting swept in at the front door of a of a club. <laughs> Seriously speaking, and uh, by the same token, you know, when the girls are out clubbing, they're meeting the guys who are going out clubbing, okay? And what do you think those guys are there to do? You think it's like Saturday Night Fever and they're up for the big dance contest at 2001 Odyssey? I mean, come on. You really? Yeah, they're out there looking for a salsa partner, right? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Is she back? Marie, you're back. Your phone was dead and it came back to life. I'm here. All right, Marie, let's finish up now. What, where, where, where were we in the conversation? We were wrapping up. Your boyfriend goes out to clubs. You just have to deal with the reality of what he's doing out there. Yeah, I, I really don't think, I mean. Of course you don't. Well, I know I can go to a club and I don't cheat on him. On him, I. Are you out? So, you're out dancing with guys who are grabbing your ass and touching you in inappropriate ways, and then you kind of fudge the truth to him and say, "I was out there. I danced with a couple of guys. Nothing happened." But in reality, those guys were licking their chops like the big bad, big bad wolf dancing with Little Red Riding Hood, and they touched you a few times. They were some ways inappropriate, and you never report that back home, do you? No, but I mean, why? Why mention those details when it's not like... Because why... it's true. But do they really matter? That, you know... Well, somebody... if they didn't matter, you wouldn't have any problem talking about them now, would you? Well, it's just like a lot of people, they don't want to hear about your ex-boyfriend. And... You just said, does it matter? Why don't we call him right now and tell him what really happened when you went out to that club? And let's see if it matters. Oh. Of course, it's not something he's going to want to hear. You just said it doesn't matter. Well, then let's tell him. No, but my point was... It doesn't matter. We should tell him right now. <sighs> okay, Tom, my you point know, was... damn, You know damn well it matters, and that's why you don't tell him. But he's out doing the same thing. So that's my I mean... point. The two of you are in complete denial about what's going on. You insist on being in a relationship, and so does he. But yet you still don't. You still don't have all that stuff out of your system. You still need strange guys grabbing your ass once in a while, and you yeah. need to go out to clubs to get it. Not really. You are not I... going to clubs to practice your dancing or to see what kind of martinis they're serving. I dance with my girlfriends. We all oh, stop the with the dance with your girlfriends. You just told me you dance with guys, and that you Sometimes. told him you dance with guys. I no, I do. But if guys are sitting there like totally grabbing me and like being really ridiculously inappropriate, I'm not going to sit there and just so, let them. So go moderately that. inappropriate is okay, and that's. But you don't want to tell your boyfriend, even though it doesn't matter. Well, if you're dancing, even if you're dancing ballroom, you still got to touch the person. You got to. We're not talking about holding your hand, yeah, but, it. yeah, but, what? I don't sit there, I, I move. If a guy like, You are there because you like that kind of attention. That's not true. Couldn't you tell the guys, I'm here with my girlfriends, it's just us dancing together, it's just us girls? I do do that. By the way, if it's all about dancing, darling, why don't you uh, get, get a boom box... And play some hot techno tunes in your living room and invite the girls over. Kind of like uh, when you used to play Barbie and stuff when you were a kid. Why don't you have the girls come over and just take your shoes off and dance in the living room? And you know why. Because you need strange men grabbing your ass. That's why. I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, then tell me if it's all about dancing. Answer, Mike. Well, why don't you go to a dance class at the community college, let's say. You could dance your heart out. Yeah, but they don't play, like, ghetto beauty music, like booty music. I guarantee you, dear, you haven't checked your local community college bulletin lately. I guarantee you 
They are playing the most hardcore rap at some dance class near you. All you have to do is sign up. But, yeah, see, it's boring because strange men aren't asking you to dance, then grabbing your ass. The whole ambiance. You don't have the The ambiance of men who want to grab your ass. No, the ambiance of, like, club music and... I just said the the music. You can find a place where they will play the same exact music. But are the lights low? Or do you have a bar right there where you can take a drink with your friends? Darling, you can do that in your living room. Yeah, but it's You can set the mood any way. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, I don't have a full bar where I can just go up to the bartender uh, and order a shot. Dear, and- you're in such denial. And and sure, that's why he goes out to clubs, too, you know? He, he would be happy to take a salsa class, but they don't have a bar there at the community college. So he needs to go out to a club so he can practice his moves. He's dancing with the guys. It's all the guys getting together and dancing with each other, right? So, okay, do you think that all guys that go to clubs are, you know, that's their whole intention is looking to get laid? There's not, I mean, or is this just a general amount of guys? The the vast majority of, and I would include the Latino guys who like dancing. They want to get laid too, but they have a different cultural background than the Caucasians and the African Americans. So they know it might have to take a little longer, be some more formalities, whatever. But they want to get laid too. But he can get laid with me. Darling, he doesn't have to go to a club to meet you. He already knows where you are. I just, if he has, you know, me where he doesn't have to do anything, he doesn't have to buy me a drink, he doesn't have to get me drunk, he doesn't have to do all of this work. But, but, he, he but then he gets, he, he gets new meat. Just like you get, meat. just like you get new meat when you go to a club, that's what no, you what? get that you don't get at the community college dance class. No, if the learning I, annex is giving a dance uh, uh, class, uh, what you don't get is strange men grabbing your ass. That is not why I go to a club. Hang on a second. All. Let me get Rihanna. She's also a chick. Rihanna, what did you want to say to Marie? Hello there, Tom. Hi. Um, I just want to say that I totally disagree with what she's saying. I know that I go to the club with my girlfriend, but I generally don't even stay with them. I end up dancing with guys the whole entire night. That's the fun of going. What's the point of going with your friends? You can hang out at home and talk to each other like girls do. Because girls are also, you can equally dance with girls as you can guys, and that that's just but, you. I mean, are you a lesbian? Why would you want to dance with girls? What's the point of that? Because we have fun together. We joke around. We goof off. And, and why is it when, then, Rihanna, here's the question, and we'll ask it together. Uh, then, then why don't, when guys try to cut in, why don't you say, hey... We have boyfriends and husbands. We're just here to dance with each other. What's the point of going to a club at all, then? Why would you go to a club just to go? I I don't understand. The point of going, getting all dressed up and nice and having guys check you out makes you feel good about yourself. Maybe your boyfriend's not making you feel that way. No, that's not true. I just think that you don't have to have, I mean, and you can dance with a guy that's not going to sit there and grope you all night. And if he starts doing that, then you can move and you can find a guy that's just going to, you know, like decently dance with you. You don't always have to find like the gross guys that are just all humping you and, you know, feeling you up. I mean, not every guy acts that way. Well, Some guys actually gross, just make them typical. That's what they're going to a club for, right? To go check out girls, go dance with girls, go fill up girls' butts. That's what they're there for. They know that's what you're there for. That's the deal that you guys made when you walked into that club. But you can walk away at any second. You don't have to sit there and take it. I mean, if it's that's that true. uncomfortable. That's definitely you know. true. Oh. But you want that. That's why you go. Yeah, I, I agree. I like having guys in on me. It's fun. Why not? Get you have a boyfriend? Me? Why not? No, I don't. You have a no? Well, that's totally different. Of course. Well, when I did well, have a boyfriend, I mean, go, I I mean, the I'm more too the young merrier. to have a boyfriend. I'm too young to have a boyfriend. But when I did, I still did those same things. I don't see why not. All right, uh, Rihanna, thank you. Let me get one more in here. Let me get uh, Jillian. Now, yes. Jillian, you heard what Marie has to say. Tell her what you were going to say. I was going to tell her that it is true that girls like to go to clubs and get their butts grabbed by strange different men because that's the reason why they go there in the first place is to get the attention. 
Otherwise, you girls would dance in your living room. Exactly. We would dance in our living room and drink our beer in our living room, and we're trying to get more penis than a toilet urinal. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> what do you think about that, Marie? I just don't. That's okay. Well, maybe I'm like a 1%, but I don't enjoy getting grabbed and like, you know, guys have a... Like, you know, we can't use that word. We can't use that word on the air, dear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't like it when guys are really, really close to me and, you know, their bodies are right up against me. I just, I back away. And you back I mean, away? I don't believe you back away, cool. honey, because I don't back away. It's to see if want it just as much as guys these days. And if you're willing to give it, then they got it. That's, and that's what, that's what they're all going for. Let me get Alejandra on the air. Alejandra, what do you want to say to Marie? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. I just want to say, the, the girl that just called in, I agree with her. The first girl who's saying it's okay to go to clubs. She's on right now. You're nothing but a slut. I don't understand why you think it would be okay to be in a relationship and act like that. Um, it really shows how immature and how trashy you are. And I just feel that she'll never get a man to respect her like that. It's outrageous. And I also wanted to say that I love you, Tom. I love how you just put people in their place all the time. Somebody has to do it, Alejandra. Huh? Somebody has to do it. Exactly, exactly. You're the perfect man. I tell him I have a 17-year-old brother. I tell him to listen to you. My boyfriend got me listening to you. My boyfriend's father listens. You are the man, Tom. I love it. Thank you so much. Bye. Appreciate the call. Tom Likas. Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. How are you today? Do you care? Yes, I do, because I don't want you to rip me a new one because I don't agree with you on what you say. The Tom Likas Show. 97.1 free FM. SoCal's FM talk station. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. That 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Misty on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Oh, I just wanted to say that um, I think that if you're in a relationship and you're completely secure with yourself, I think that going out dancing or clubbing with your girlfriends is completely fine because you can say you know, i think if you're a guy you should just say i don't want to be in a relationship like that and get the hell out no listen if you go if you go if the, with your girlfriends and you go in your family room you have a boom box or your imac or whatever and you're playing music but if you go to a club they mix it up and you just release a bunch of tension and you have girly time and no, it's not but it's not I, girly I time it's it's, it's gropey think... time it's guys groping you guys dancing with you and i go to clubs i work in clubs dear i am unmarried okay. and i am in clubs right. and i see your type in there and yeah i believe me no matter who starts out there with their three girlfriends dancing on the dance floor eventually uh -huh. guys cut in and it's very rare, if ever, that a girl says, oh, no, I'm just here dancing with my friends. No, no. The guy's cut in, and things continue, and the guy does inappropriate things that never get told back to your boyfriend, and you say, well, you know, we're secure in our relationship, so, well, you know, yeah, you trust me. And, uh, uh, no, 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 not acceptable. Me. Not acceptable. And the guys do do that. They, they come up to you, but, you know, I, I just kind not of... Not uh, As a husband, guy, that's not acceptable to me. I would not never so presume can area. you hear me i'm sorry <laughs> I would never presume to tell anyone what to do. If I was dating you and you said I'm going to keep going to clubs, I'd say that's great. You keep doing it, but we don't have a relationship anymore. Once in a while? Don't you think once in a while is okay, though? No. To release tension with your girlfriend? You want to release tension? Go to a high school auditorium. Go to your uh, bedroom. Go to the living room. Oh, yeah. Break up the... <laughs> but you see what I'm talking about. This is I, all I about hear, this is all about getting saying, male attention from strange guys. That's what it's all about. Like just really admit it. And you like hanging out with their girlfriends. Just admit that it's about music. getting attention from new males. Uh-huh. Right? I'm sorry, say that again. You get what? Oh, Jesus. Just admit it's it's about getting attention from guys. 
has nothing to do with yes, that. Yes, it does. I, well, then I why do you mention probably, a vibrator? I think you're right. I'm, I'm sure there's probably some girls that do do that for attention. Including you. But there are some girls that just want to release tension and have... What does that mean, release, release tension? And you can have girly time at Starbucks. You can do, all drink a little chai together, have a little frappuccino time. Uh, you could all play uh, cribbage. You could all uh, sit around and uh, listen to music. You could sit around and knit together. There's all kinds of girly things you could be doing. You could go watch a chick flick together. But going to a club is going where guys who are licking their chops are waiting for you to arrive. <laughs> all right. I just you want to say that, but I just think that uh, if you so the thing is, if you need girly time in a nightclub where single people are hooking up, uh, that's mm -hmm. not somebody that any of our males wants to be in a relationship with. No, you are not relationship material. You are not relationship material. Has nothing and, to do with insecurity. And, and it has mean, nothing to do with insecurity. If you, it's, on the contrary, if you need to go to a singles bar with music. Yeah. That's once what a club a while, is. Don't you think once in a while? No. Okay. No. Wow. No. Well, obviously you're not secure enough. To has nothing to do with insecurity. No, it has nothing other. to do with insecurity. Because guys have guys have to others. toe the line all the time uh, with mm -hmm. women. Where are you going? Who are you with? When are you coming home? Why were you out so late? Why are you on the road? Why do you come home? Why do all the goddamn time? Uh -huh. I, I am not coming home only to have you tell me you're going out to a nightclub where single guys are looking to put their hands on your ass. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't tolerate it, and I wouldn't recommend anybody listening to this show would tolerate it. Wow. It has nothing to do with insecurity. You do whatever you want, sweetheart. But I'm not mm -hmm. going to be in a monog quote-unquote monogamous relationship with someone who needs to go to singles bars. Singles bars or singles That's what or dance clubs are, dear. They're singles Why bars with a, dis with a disc jockey. Because they're not technically singles bars. They I mean, are. there's... They, yes, they Probably are. Probably the majority are. of them are freaking married. And no, they're not. No, they're not. People do not go to dance clubs when they're married. They go when they're single and they're looking to get laid. Do not play dumb with me. I'm not playing dumb with you. That is I've where people hook that, up. You know? That is and where people, people hook up. Well. That is why right. there's alcohol. That is why there's music. It is a place where people go to hook up. Don't act stupid. Well, some people do, but some people Most don't. people is, do. Most people there. do. Most people I do. I would say most people do, but I'm just saying that there are some I don't care about them. I don't care about who, who I don't, know. you know, I, as I always say, even a broken clock is right twice a day. So what? I tell the guys out there right now, if your girlfriend goes to clubs without you, you are a fool to be in a relationship with that person. That's pretty sad. Yeah, it sure is, sweetheart. Kitty on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you, my love? Great. Um, I completely agree with what you have to say, as always. And um, I have proof because I do have a guy friend who is in his um, mid-30s. He's married. He has two kids. And he does go out to clubs. And it's only for the sole purpose of finding chicks to get laid. I mean, there's no other purpose to do, you know, to go out in a large group of guy friends. You're not going to dance. If you're a straight guy, basically, you're not going to go to a club with a large group of guy friends. And uh, if you're a gay guy, you're going to go there to get guys. Let's be Let honest. me tell you, if a straight guy goes to a club, it's to get, get girls. That, that's why we go. Exactly. And it doesn't really matter if you're married or single. I mean, as a girlfriend, if I had a boyfriend who went to clubs all the time, I would be suspicious. But that's because... Most of my friends are guys, and I, I myself have guy logic, and I know how they work, so I'm not, you know, I'm not fooled by this. But most girls are completely, you know, they're like, oh, no, he's so innocent. He just goes out there to dance. And I'm like, humble, humble. Yeah, you know, un unless you are married to, uh, uh, you know, the head of the Alvin Ailey Dance Company, in which case I doubt the guy uh, <clears throat> likes chicks. Anyway, uh, exactly. you know, um, the bottom line here for me is uh, guys who go to clubs are going to get laid. That's why we go. Exactly, and most girls do, too. I've known a couple that actually have gone for the sole purpose of dancing with their girlfriends, and they do push guys away, but most of them do go to actually find a guy. I've done so myself. Of course, I've never cheated, and I've been single when I've done this, but even the girls who are, quote-unquote, taken, they do so as well. And anybody who doesn't admit to it, they're just fooling themselves. Yeah, I agree with you, Kitty. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com